Hello, my name is Kahontla Barnett from Rhodes University. I am 22 years of age and I'm currently doing my fourth academic year, I'm pursuing an honours degree in political science and international relations. It's easy if you try. My passion is based on the idea of consciousness. What it ultimately comes down to is the realization of your existence and your presence in the world and also your purpose. So for the mere fact that you exist and that you are present means that you have the undeniable potential to effect change in the world. And that's what drives me. The fact that every person I come across, every person I meet has the undeniable potential to effect positive change. No country. A lot of things have contributed to the view that I have of the world today, but being born and bred in a very small town in the Northern Cape, the most prominent factor for me that needs to be addressed or that has shaped my world view is socioeconomic issues. And I think a lot of countries, specifically developing countries, have their progress constrained due to socioeconomic issues and exacerbated by the fact that they don't realize the magnitude of these issues. I think it's time that countries started investing in solutions that curb, po that curb poverty and, and lack of education and your unemployment, specifically in South Africa, seeing that South Africa has the third highest unemployment rate in the world. Um, between for people between the ages of 15 and 24. It's a concern that needs to be addressed. And I think this could be achieved through prioritizing things like education and skills development initiatives. There is a lot going on in Africa at the moment, not only Africa, but throughout the whole globe. There are a lot of injustices that have to be dealt with at the moment, not only in our immediate communities, but throughout the whole of Africa and throughout the whole world. There's this increased degradation of human dignity and the increased disregard and disrespect for human life and the sanctity of human life. This is evident in the, the attacks, the Al-Shabaab attacks that are going on in Kenya, the, and something that has been fading in the, in, the, in the media recently, but which is quite still a reality, is the kidnappings of the Nigerian girls that go around. We look at the conflict that's between Palestine and Israel. So many lives are being lost, and I think as the youth, seeing that the future is ours, we cannot afford to be apathetic anymore. We cannot afford to be ignorant anymore. It's time that we took an active stand against such things. It's time that we stood up and, and spoke against such injustices that are occurring in our, in our world. Um, there's this misconception that we are the leaders of tomorrow. And I challenge that by saying that we are not the leaders of tomorrow, for tomorrow might never come. We are the leaders of today. We need to start acting today. We need to start being active and active citizens. The third key today. factor that has contributed to my worldview is the undermining of the impact that a girl has in society. A recent report by the Girls 20 mentioned how that if 10% more girls were to go to school, then a country's GDP is set to increase by at least 3%. I think it's time that we invested more time in our girls. It's time that we invested more of our education and more of our skills development in girls. Um, there is untapped potential in, in young girls and in young females. You know, by educating one girl, you, you break the cycle of poverty within a generation that is quite powerful. I think the more we move towards empowering young girls and empowering young women, country The importance of education. As the late Tata Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. As such, I'm an ardent advocate of education. I've taken time out to offer students from local high schools free mentoring sessions to assist them with their respective learning areas, which they find difficulty with. Secondly, active citizenship and serving others. As JFK once asserted, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. I believe that we all have something positive to offer, regardless of education, qualification, or circumstances. I want to firmly promote 
the idea of serving others and making a difference, however small. I have since dedicated my time to societal development through reserving part of my time to offer students from local high schools free academic mentoring sessions, coaching sports like netball and athletics, and giving motivational speeches to high school students. It's easy if you do. One of the things that I strive to change is how people perceive themselves. Basically, I strive to eradicate any perceptions of incapability or inferiority for these are the things that impede growth and progress. So I try to inspire and instill the idea that a man who can is the man who thinks they can. One of the things that I strive to change is this culture of seizing or stopping growth. So instead of having one lead to create more followers, having one lead to create more leaders, in the case of empowering people, having one empower people so that they can eventually empower themselves and empower the next person. I was one of the five delegates that represented South Africa and Africa at large at the Y20 Australian Summit earlier on this year, of which I was also the youngest delegate from South Africa. I've also taken part in the silent protest on an annual basis, which is a protest against sexual violence and one that stands in solidarity with rape survivors. I've also been part of Residence House Con and served as the head of sports and the treasurer.